My vanilla lattes and welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed. And happy to be spending some time with you if this is your first time stopping by. My name is Lori Latte. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. So today's Monday, fun day. I slept all night. I'm rested. And I have something on my mind that I want to talk to you guys about. So ASMR in my car. M, little c, big C, A, F, E. You know, yesterday morning... I asked Roger to go get me my morning coffee. It was about 5 a.m. There is a 24-hour McDonald's right down the street from my house. There are 10 McDonald's in my hometown, okay? So I'm covered. Out of those 10, at least three or four are 24-hour McDonald's. Because on Sunday morning, the McDonald's I frequent opens at 6. It was 5. And he actually went to my second favorite McDonald's. Right. But sometimes the young people, especially if they're new employees, they don't know how to fix a coffee, right? Okay. He brought me my coffee, but it tasted like sweet cream. It was good. Don't get me wrong. But it didn't taste like vanilla, and it did not taste like caramel. I got a large, hot, Vanilla latte, add a pump of caramel. I pay 50 cents extra for the extra pump of caramel. Okay. My suspicion is this. The young people, when they're doing the pumps, they don't push the pump all the way down. Therefore, I'm getting half a pump of syrup instead of the whole pump. And when you're talking about the large latte, the vanilla's going to be barely there. They're doing it fast. Okay. I wasn't mad. It's all good. I did call and say, look, my coffee tastes like sweet cream. You need to train the guy that made my coffee, please. He needs training. Maybe to some people that's offensive. I'm not being offensive. Okay. I'm 57 years old. I'm a food service professional myself. And in a very polite way, your guy needs training, okay? Because the person that makes your coffee at McDonald's is going to control how it tastes. Because of those pumps of caramel, those pumps of vanilla, okay? He's rushing the process. I'm getting half a pump instead of a whole pump. And the coffee didn't taste right. Ma'am, at your convenience, we will replace your coffee. And no, you don't have to bring the coffee back. I didn't have to take the coffee back. Now, if you're in the drive-thru and you check your coffee, you're going to give them the coffee back and they're going to make you a fresh one. Okay, we didn't have time for any of that nonsense. It's Sunday morning and I got to get to work. There's no time for that nonsense, okay? But if you call and talk to the manager, they're going to take your name down. They're going to give you their name. Ibrahim, his name, the, the night manager. Very nice young man, Ibrahim. So I went right now to redeem my free coffee, no questions asked. I spoke with Ibrahim. I had an issue with my coffee. Yes, ma'am. My coffee's perfect today. It's hot. Vanilla's there, caramel's there. Now, the other issue I had yesterday... Sometimes when the machine is low on milk, because it's whole milk, y'all, okay? You don't have options at McDonald's when it comes to lattes. So if you are lactose intolerant, you're not going to get your latte at McDonald's. When the machine is low on milk, it dispenses up to there. I had two-thirds of a cup of coffee. I did mention that as well. Okay. Today's coffee was all the way to the top. 
I did take a few sips already. It's piping hot. And it's delicious. Okay, y'all, I'm a very big fan of McDonald's. Anybody that's been here with me knows this. Okay. Because of their coffee. Because of Mac Cafe. I'm a huge fan of McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's has been front and center at my channel since day one. Okay. I'm not crazy about their food. I do love their nuggets. Their fries are outstanding. And the McDouble's pretty damn good. So every once in a while I do get the food. Especially when they have promotions going on. Where you get something free if you buy their food. But for the most part, it's because of Mac Cafe. I've been thinking a lot about Ronald McDonald lately. And I'm going to tell you why. A couple of weeks ago, they had a promotion. It, it was called the Collector's Meal. It's over. They had the c Collector's Meal. If you bought a meal, breakfast or lunch or dinner. If you bought a combo meal, they would include a Collector's Cup. They had six cups. Each cup had its own theme. But they were nostalgic cups. They were throwback cups. What they were doing is they were designing the cup to show the different characters they used throughout the years in their Happy Meals. Basically, they had a Barbie cup with Hot Wheels. Okay. They had a Coca-Cola cup. They had a McDonald's cup, which featured all the McDonald's throwback characters. They had a Hello Kitty cup. These all reflected little toys that they were giving out throughout the years. And on the cup, it shows the different years that they were promoting those toys. So, the very first cup I got, because I did drop $80 at McDonald's. Now, thank you to everybody that tipped me. Because some of y'all, beautiful vanilla lattes, helped me. So I didn't pay for all these cups on my own. The first cup I got was the McDonald's cup. This is it right here. This has all the throwback, nostalgic characters that McDonald's has featured in their Happy Meals, okay? And all the way in the back, look, there's Ronald. He's tiny, and you almost can't even see him. But I saw Ronald McDonald, and that just got my Ronald McDonald wheels turning. It was so refreshing to see him because you don't see him anymore ever you don't see him anymore so in the very back saying hello there's Ronald McDonald so I started thinking to myself why in the hell don't you see Ronald McDonald anymore there's reasons y'all there's reasons and that's what I want to talk about with you okay one reason which is super obvious is their branding has changed i understand this okay i have an mba masters in business administration my parents sent me to school and i'm a small business owner so i understand ronald mcdonald doesn't match their branding anymore their marketing to different children they're now marketing to adults. Okay. The lifespan of Ronald McDonald ended. This is one reason why you don't see Ronald McDonald anymore. That makes sense to me. I understand that. I understand that. Okay. But one of the primary reasons that they've basically canceled out Ronald McDonald is because a group of special interest people, special interest group back in 2011, decided to join forces to pressure McDonald's to bench Ronald. And I'm going to tell you what the reasons are that they say. Okay. Creepy clown. He's creepy. He's a creepy clown and kids are scared of him. Creepy 
and kids are scared of Ronald McDonald. Okay. It's unethical. It's unethical to target children with a clown and lure them to buy fast food and it's promoting obesity. All of this in one nutshell. You got this big giant nutshell that they pressured the McDonald's Corporation to bench Ronald. I'm going to give you my thoughts on all this, okay? I'm going to give you my thoughts. Again, I have authority to talk about this kind of subject matter because I'm a business lady. I'm educated. I could sit at the board of directors at McDonald's if I wanted to. I could apply for that job, and they would hire me. I've been working in food service since I was 13. I'm 57 now. I'm a food service professional. Plus, my parents sent me to school, and I have an MBA. So I have authority in these types of matters. If you take your child very frequently to McDonald's to buy fast food, guess what? They're going to become obese. They're going to have a serious weight problem. Okay, if you're a parent that takes your child to McDonald's very often, they're going to gain a lot of weight. Okay. This is what we call common sense. I love the Olive Garden. If I could afford it and not gain weight, I would be at Olive Garden every day. If I go to Olive Garden every day and have my chicken Alfredo or my spaghetti or my tour of Italy or all of the foods that I love, if I go very frequently to Olive Garden, I'm going to weigh 200 pounds. It's guaranteed. That's what we call processed food. It's very rich. It has a lot of calories. It has a lot of sodium. I'm going to balloon to 200 plus pounds. Why are you going to blame McDonald's people, special interest groups, if folks are taking their kids with frequency to McDonald's? Of course the kid going to get fat. It's guaranteed. A child should not be taken to a fast food establishment every day. Okay, why are you blaming Ronald McDonald for that? And why are you blaming McDonald's for that? Blame your own damn self. Blame your damn self. Okay, you don't take your child to have fast food every day. Sorry. Now, last week I bought a Happy Meal because right now they have the Hello Kitty promotion. They're giving the Hello Kitty toy. I want you to know that they have really moderated that meal. You're not getting much food. Your kid ain't going to be obese. You get a tiny hamburger. You get apple slices now. If you don't want the fries, you can ask for yogurt. And even if you get the fries, they give you like seven French fries in this tiny little cardboard fry box. So chances of your child getting ob you're not going to get them Coke. You can get them milk or juice. See, so a child is not even going to gain that much weight, even if you take them twice a week to McDonald's. But you're not going to take them every day. Okay. Blame yourself for that. So let's just scratch that reason off of the list. Okay. Creepy clown. I know what you're talking about. Are there creepy clowns out there? Definitely. Ronald McDonald's not one of them. He is not creepy in any way. Did they change Ronald? Did they make him look creepy? No. Now, do they make movies with scary clowns? Yes. Okay. Yes, they do. I'm not going to tell those people what to do. If in Hollywood they want to make movies with scary clowns, that's going to affect how children see Ronald McDonald? Yes. I see a connection there. But he's not creepy. Never has been, never will be. Now, there was a time where people were dressing up as clowns and committing robberies. Did that help Ronald? No. I, I can see the connection there. That didn't help Ronald. Okay. Are children afraid of Ronald McDonald? Look, if Ronald McDonald puts his big clown face 
in front of a one or two year old, they're going to freak out and they're going to start screaming because little tiny children are scared of everything. They're scared of everything. But a four year old, a five year old, a six year old, they are not afraid of Ronald McDonald. So don't make shit up. Little tiny children are afraid of everything. Their aunt or uncle that they don't see very often can get in their face to want to give them a kiss and they're going to start screaming. It's not because of Ronald. It's because little kids get scared very easily. Scratch that one off the list. Okay. It's unethical. It's unethical to use a clown to lure kids to buy fast food. Totally disagree with that. Have you ever heard of the Ronald McDonald House? The Ronald McDonald House, their homes all over the United States, where parents who have terminally ill children and have to go out of town to get medical care for their children, they can stay at the Ronald McDonald House for free so they don't have to pay for a hotel, so they can be close by to their child who's getting treatments in another town. Okay, Ronald McDonald makes lots of appearances there. Okay, is that unethical? Is it unethical? These Ronald McDonald houses are for children that are sick and their parents. So don't come tell me that it's unethical to use Ronald McDonald as their mascot so that children will want to eat fast food. Is your child going to want McDonald's every day? Sometimes, yes, but you're the parent. You just tell them, honey, I can take you once a week, but that's it. And that's, the story ends. You're in control. But to say and have the audacity to try to cancel Ronald McDonald and say that it's unethical. Now, when did it become all right for people to tell you how to run your business? Please answer that question. When did it become all right for people to tell you how to run your business? If you're on the board of directors at McDonald's, you have authority to talk about these matters. You have full authority. If you own stock or are an owner of McDonald's, you have full authority to make decisions about Ronald McDonald. But everybody else, just shut your damn mouth. Just shut up. All right? You want an opinion? You want to give constructive criticism to McDonald's? They welcome constructive criticism. They have a 1-800 number. They're going to document whatever thoughts and opinions you may have. But to get together like a lynch mob and go attack McDonald's to force their hand to bench Ronnie, that's where you're out of line. I don't accept that. That's not okay. That's never going to be all right. So, please, I would love to know your thoughts, especially my lattes that are parents that have young children. I would love to know your thoughts. But I have good news for you. Ronald McDonald will never be canceled or benched here with Lori Latte. Ronald McDonald is always going to be welcome here. And he's a star here. He's got a, a big star on the Lori Latte Walk of Fame. This is a Funko Pop McDonald's birthday Ronald McDonald figure. Is that adorable or what? I had to get it. I've had him on my mind. I think I'm secretly obsessed with Ronald McDonald. Look how cute. He's holding a gift and he has a little hat. This is what he looks like. He's got a little hat and he's got a gift. I'm so happy they make these. It was $13 on Amazon and I signed up for Prime which is only $15 a month, and I got free shipping. Look, there's the golden arches.
birthday Ronald McDonald. So I'm bringing him back. I'm bringing Ronald back. Now there have been people that are signing petitions asking McDonald's to bring him back. Rebrand Ronnie. Just rebrand him. Make him a little softer looking. Okay. Make him a little more appealing to young children. You can do whatever you want, McDonald's. You're worldwide. All you got to do, look how cute. Look how cute he looks here. Children would be thrilled to own a little stuffed animal that look like this. See, it's like baby Ronald McDonald. Look. Look how cute. Ronald McDonald looks here. That's all you have to do. Introduce him like this. People are going to freak out. He's been the face of McDonald's since 1963. I mean, I'm not even kidding. Okay. And people that are trying to cancel Ronald, let me tell you something. The more you attack him, the more famous he becomes. Okay. The more iconic he is. You're going to be seeing this again very soon. I bought it for a reason. Okay. I'm not going to let you know. Not yet. But very soon. Very soon you're going to see Ronald McDonald again. So that's all I wanted to talk about, y'all. I had to get that off my chest. There's Vintage Ronnie right there. That's what he looks like. Vintage Ronnie.